beautiful ancient town of Hoi An. And today, we're going to be showing you that even though this is one of the most popular tourist destinations here in Vietnam, it's not as expensive as you might think. First things first, this is where we were staying last night and where we will be staying for a couple of days. It's called Onion Homestay. It's a very fun name, but easy to remember. It is just outside of ancient town, so the location is very, very good. We're staying in a, I think, deluxe balcony room. I'm not 100% sure on the name of the room, but it was just 11 British pounds per night, and that includes breakfast. This morning, we opted to have some pho, which is a very nice way to start the day. It was very delicious, and we also had some Vietnamese coffee to go with it. And since it's a homestay, she cooks it in her kitchen downstairs and you kind of sit there, cozy, like really, really nice. What's actually really nice about a place like Hoi An, or at least an ancient town where we are right now, is because it's so touristy, there's people taking photos pretty much around every single corner. There's loads of ladies in beautiful, flowy white dresses taking photos with their boyfriend or having their boyfriend taking photos of them. But the problem is, I always, or we always end up in the back of people's photos. You have to like dash it through so you don't ruin someone's shots, um, which is kind of fun but also probably annoying for them. <laughs> and it's worse at night as well. Hello. Oh, it gets worse at Hi. night. Hi. No, thank you. So we're currently sat in a cafe called Finn Coffee. It's a little bit around a back alley in Old Town. So we were walking around for ages, so where is it? It's a little bit behind some other buildings, but definitely worth it when you do find it. It's super aesthetic. It's this really rich sort of almost foresty vibe around you. There's plants everywhere. This nice turquoise, pops of yellow is really really nice so it's good for like a photo or videos but it's also very popular for the very very delicious coffee which we cannot wait for thank you very much <laughs> nice now we've just got to wait for it <laughs> the one that doesn't have as much coffee in it is robusta and the other one is arabica, arabica. Yeah. But that's so interesting it's surprisingly affordable for a coffee here because it's basically coffee on a show and like a history lesson about coffee we love coffee but we don't know that much about it and uh, we just know if it tastes good or not <laughs> so to brew this coffee he poured coffee granules up to this line here and then this contraption here on the top was underneath the little uh, jug but then once he poured a little bit of water at the bottom and water into the top he removed it so that the coffee could drift into the bottom of the cup and then now uses that contraption as a lid to keep the heat in and now we're just waiting for the coffee to come out and all of that for 35,000 dong each Now Hoi An is a World UNESCO heritage site and it's a really old city that was a fishing port back in the 1500s and it's loads of small alleyways, cafes, restaurants and everything. And basically it's just really nice to just walk around. You don't even have to do anything. It's just so nice to look at the buildings, take some photos, just take it all in. If you're ever in Hoi An, come out in the daytime, like midday when the sun is extremely hot. There's no one around, hey? Is that about please? No, thank you. Once the sun goes down, maybe like 5 p.m., it's like a completely different city, but also it looks so much nicer at night, but there's so much people. We kind of prefer the daytime, don't we? Yeah, just make sure you wear sun cream and maybe bring a sun hat or something, because <laughs> it's hot. <laughs>
As I'm editing this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. One of the many ways we elevate our YouTube videos is by using B-roll. Not just filming it, but editing it in a way that's efficient and tells a great story. Today's video of the beautiful ancient town in Hoi An deserved extra attention when it came to the B-roll. Recently, I've been doing a course on Skillshare called How to Edit B-roll full video editing workflow by Joey Bettenbrook. This has not only reminded me of the importance of B-roll, but also how to elevate it in the edit. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of courses across 150 countries on pretty much any topic you can think of. The first thousand people to use the link in our description box or our code 2 passports one dream will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now, let's get back to the video. We've secured the goods, we've gone to a very nice Ban Mai place, but we'll tell you about that in a second. We've just got to find somewhere nice to sit. It is a hot day today. <laughs> We've perched right next to the water now. It's very beautiful to look at Old Town. Although, I, are we still in Old Town? Ancient Town? Not sure. I'm not sure if we're still in, in Ancient Town. We walked over the bridge, but we're looking onto Ancient Town anyway, if, even if we're not in it. We went to a place to get some banh mi. Now, I hear the locals say banh mi, so either I'm going deaf or that's the proper way of saying it. So please don't get mad if I say it wrong. But the place we went to is called banh mi Fuang? 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 Not 100% sure on that one. It's been around since like the 90s. It was made very popular by a certain Mr. Anthony Bourdain. And we basically just had to check it out. They look amazing. Mine is a vegetarian one. So thank you to everyone who told me what the word for vegetarian is in Vietnamese. It's made it a lot easier to localize things on the menu. For any other vegetarians out there, the word for vegetarian in Vietnamese is chai and chai so if you say that they will definitely not give you any meat <laughs> this place for the banh mai has been recommended pretty much by everyone that we've spoken to so naturally we had to check it out inside my beautifully crunchy baguette is avocado the juiciest looking sort of spicy looking delicious tofu smells so good and it's a rather juicy oily number I really hope I don't ruin my dress <laughs> and I went for just a bog standard mixed meats version we've realized in Hoi An the bread is really pointy in Ho Chi Minh and in Dalat they were not pointy you could get you could dig in straight away but here you have to eat the crust crusty bit at the beginning hmm that was not a bad first bite actually for a crusty section but mmm this is so good that is juicy. Mmm. It's really good. It's so nice. And these two bad boys were a total of 60,000 Vietnamese dong. That's insane. Mmm. That is a good deal. <laughs> We've been here a couple of days now and every day that we walk down the front here, there is a Oh, really cute old lady that keeps asking us if we want to go on a boat ride and at the time we, we were quite busy we were doing other things but now we're gonna go see if she's available see how much it costs and I think it's about a 15 minute ride up and down the river so that'll be kind of fun yeah. how, how much? 100? okay well that's so cute yeah okay thank you this is cute we haven't moved yet. No, but it's still cute. <laughs> like, look at the little boat. The 
This ride cost us 100,000 Vietnamese dong and there's two drivers, one at the front, one at the back. And we're just going up and down the river, very peaceful, very nice. We've got a roof, so we're not burning anymore. Yeah, so it's that's like nice. you get the breeze, but not the sunshine, so it's really nice and calming. That was so cute. I feel, I, I swear I recognize that lady from photos that I've seen of Hoi An. Either that or like she's related to somebody that's had loads of photos taken because I swear I've seen her before. <laughs> well, someone just after we got off there went up to her and said some name like Miss something and then went up to take a picture with her. No, so. no thank you. No, it's thank okay, you. thank you. So yeah, she must be um, Instagram famous or something. We'll have to check it out. Yeah, we'll have to Google. I s I've seen her before. There's no way. I no, I definitely have. The sun is about to set in about an hour and now absolutely everyone has come out but the great thing about the ancient town is they don't let anyone come through on motorbikes after a certain time, probably after about 4pm, not exactly sure. So now it's just loads of people walking, loads, even more people taking photos now. So you have to really watch where you go or you'll be in everyone's Instagram shots. We've literally just sat down in a restaurant called Hai Mi Quang Kao Lao. I think that's the two dishes that they do. I've got Mi Quang and Dylan's got Kao Lao. This place was recommended by some of you guys, but this dish was recommended so many times, the Kao Lao. You might be able to tell that we got a little bit sunburned, if ever so slightly rough. <laughs> but it's cooling down a little bit. I've got a Iced lemon. Dylan's got an iced passion fruit. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Yeah. It's so good. I had actually never heard of this dish before someone recommended it to us, so don't know what to expect. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Oh, the meat is good. It's a very nice dish. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a food blogger, but. Tasty. <laughs> you see, these are like um, crispy pork skin, I'm guessing. Like pork scratching. Mm. Oh, yeah. A lot of pork scratching. <laughs> it's probably a right and a wrong way to eat this, and I'm probably not going to do it the right way. There's peanuts in this, so I mean, I quite like peanuts, so I'm just going to pour those on top. We've got what looks like rice noodles mixed maybe with egg noodles and then we've got quail egg, two of them. Maybe that's because I asked for no pork. I'm not sure, but either way. Mm. Mm. That's really flavorful. That's really nice. Spicy at all? Or? Not spicy at all, no. Because of the language barrier, we obviously don't speak Vietnamese. We're eating some of these dishes wrong and you guys are telling us, so thank you very much. But we're doing our due diligence and we're going to meet up with a local in the next couple of days to have a street food tour to find out the right way to eat stuff, <laughs> what's actually inside, how you're meant to eat it, and what's actually Vietnamese, what's actually Vietnamese and what's not just random food. So we're very much looking forward to that. Huge thank you to whoever recommended this dish because that is one of the best dishes I've tried in Vietnam. Absolutely incredible. I love the little crispy pork things on top. But all of that, two dishes and two drinks, was 110,000 dong. 
I recommend this restaurant to anyone going to Hoya. That was one of the most delicious noodle dishes that I've also had since we got to Vietnam. Really flavorful, really tasty. Not 100% sure exactly what it was made of, what was in there, but whatever it was, was super yummy. It's just getting properly dark outside now. It's about six o'clock, so the lanterns will probably start turning on any moment now. As we're walking back to our lovely little homestay, we'll show you how beautiful this place gets at night. Thank you. Thank you. As we were walking through ancient town with all the lanterns on and the guys playing music, there was a lady that was selling something she called mango cake. I don't know what it is. It's heavy though. We bought two of them. It's like covered in what I think is powdered sugar. And then, oh, I can see it cracking open a little bit there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. That's filled with like peanuts. <laughs> I can feel sugar all over my face, but mmm. I don't think that has anything to do with mango. No, it's like sugary peanuts on the inside, almost like wrapped in like a mochi or something. Mm. Really nice. Mm. You love this. You love this. <laughs> what? Mmm. <laughs> like sugary peanutty. Mmm. Good, right? That is good. It's not mango. <laughs> no. Mm. And those were only 10,000 dong each. Nice treat. Mm. Ancient Town has gone from a beautifully calm, picturesque, sunny city to in the night, absolutely crazy. There's so many people everywhere, but it's really, really nice to see. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, then I think you'll really like the video that's on the screen right now, where we tried some really traditional Vietnamese desserts and loads of coffee.